This is something that a paramedic might find, someone who had blunt chest trauma, or somebody maybe, for example, has sharp chest pain, missed dialysis, and has severe dyspnea on exertion, severe shortness of breath, but his O2 sat's fairly normal. This patient, the treasure here, is that he has tamponade. He has fluid around his heart. And the way we know that is because he's got electrical alternans. Can't see it if you don't look for it. So electrical alternans is a finding that means that there's fluid in the sac around the heart. And so what you'll notice is that you have a big beat and then a smaller beat. Big beat, small beat, big beat, small beat. And the red line shows you the height of the beats. And what's actually happening behind the scenes is that the heart lives in, in the sac and normally it's fairly constricted in its sac and there's not a bunch of fluid. But if there's fluid in the sac, when the heart comes towards the chest wall, as it's swinging in the fluid, it's gonna be a big beat. When it swings back away from the chest wall, it's gonna be a small beat. And then again, when it beats again, and it goes towards the chest wall, big beat. Away from the chest wall, small beat. Because it's not supposed to be able to swing like a pendulum in the fluid. So that's what you'll see. It's a very characteristic finding, and that's why it makes the pattern, because it's going to and fro. And as you know, what the EKG is measuring is voltage. So when the voltage gets closer to the chest wall, it's a big beat. See? Perfect.